Emily and I are um, out at uh, Ravens Rock uh, State Park in um, just south of uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. We have uh, Henry and Sam's over there. I thought no better a place to uh, talk about awnings than um, when we're actually at a, a campsite. So a lot of folks have put the Fiamma awnings that are either manual or electric um, up on theirs. And we chose to go a different path. Uh, we chose uh, dragonfly tarps. We were at um, the Adventure Expo uh, last year. I saw it on a couple vans and thought that that would be a great uh, solution for us uh, simply because it gives a lot of shade. Um, it's wind and weather rated and uh, it's got a lot of different configurations. So um, we, uh, Jacob and I installed the rails on the van um, last week uh, at one evening. So we didn't video it, but I'll show you what it looks like. It's basically just a rail that screws in with some um, 3M tape to the top of the van. So the rail is just a channel that runs from the back of the van to the front of the van. And that's what holds uh, the tarp in place. So the tarp uh, slides into this channel right there. And uh, it just kind of falls along. So we haven't opened anything up. And uh, so this will be a, a learning experience for everyone. So these are the poles. And then the tarp is actually in this bag. And it's the Haku 12. And it's... It's a tarp that's uh, designed really for this size of spare van, the 170. Um, so we'll uh, take everything out and see what we have. So the bags are really nice. So they, this should be the poles. Bags may have a really nice material. And there are two main poles that hold this whole thing together. And you've got a pointy end that goes in the ground. And then this is what goes into the configurations on the tarp. And there are two of them. All right, so there are the poles. And uh, the tarp sits in this bag. So in order for us to have camera help, this is what you got to do some days. It's a little chilly out. You got to keep that in frame. This is the piece that slides in that rail. And then there's a little pin on one side to keep it from coming out. So this is what goes in last. So we'll take the orange tab in and slide it in first. All right, inside the last bag is some straps. And these are what help you tie everything down to the ground. So they got nice quality aluminum stakes. And basically the way this works is this slides to this and you pound that in the ground and then this strap fits into one of these 
buckles and you just pull it tight. Okay. All right, so what we did uh, was we just attached some of the leaders in here real quick and put the stakes in the ground. That's gonna kind of give us just a base of where we think we're gonna put it together. We're just gonna take a pole, take this end, stick it through the eyelet, And you have that, and we're just gonna kind of put some tension on it. So there's four stakes total? Four stakes total. All right, and so that took, you know, just a couple minutes, but look at all of the shade that it gives you. And the door still operates, which is, you know, the nice thing. So if it's raining outside, this is gonna prevent water from coming down, like with the other awnings. There's a gap between the awning and the body, and sometimes water will get through that. But this, you know, provides all kind of shade. And it's, I mean, I'm, I'm 6'10", and you know, my hand is up and uh, you can feel so there's tons of clearance underneath here so this is a nice area um, to kind of sit back and enjoy uh, the outside and keep you out from the weather and these poles can figure in a different couple different um, ways and I'll show you what that looks like so the nice part about this is that this is a stretchy material so if there's a wind gust or something this will stretch um, just so that uh, there's not full tension on everything. All right, so that's, this is in the uh, maximum shade with a rain drainage on it. So, gives us full coverage. And they come in all different kinds of colors. So, I got the gray. They come in a whole host of different colors. Um, so if you want something specific to your van, they'll even do custom stuff. So I think it's a really nice uh, solution for us, especially when we're going to be sitting for a while um, in any one particular area. It gives us nice, like I said, shade and cover um, from the sun. And there, like I said, there are different configurations uh, for these. I did find that when setting the poles, once you have them tensioned, just to spin them like this and they'll dig right into the ground now i have a different anchor system um, but i just wanted to to utilize the stuff that came with it but i used the ground gaba uh, soil anchors uh, because you you can put them in with an impact wrench and uh, you don't have to pound on anything they're easy to put in they're easy to take out and uh i'll show you what that looks like real quick all right so basically there giant uh, screws and you just use an impact wrench and then they have their own clips and so this goes over top of the hex head and then you just connect in our case we just connect the strap to that so I have four of them so that's my setup I just keep them together on a clip we use those stakes primarily while we were out west uh, just because the ground is so um, different depending on where you are and getting tent stakes in is uh, really difficult especially in rocky soil like what we have out here too so um, they work really good they're expensive you can get them on Amazon but um, 
it really solves all the problems of getting a stake in and out um, when you're having to put stuff up. But so, so far we're uh, happy with the tarp. Pretty easy to set up, it just took a couple minutes. And um, like Emily said, if you're shorter, you may need a step stool or a ladder of some kind uh, to do it, which is an inconvenience. But at the same time, I, I am uh, really happy with the setup. All right, so you can reconfigure this into um, a couple different settings. You just do it one at a time. And um, this is the main shade setting. The other one is a privacy setting. And all you do is you do one pull at a time, you release the buckle to give you some space, come over to the other one and release it. And then all you're gonna do is just change the pull from this side. To the far side. Like I said earlier, just twist it and then put some tension on it. And then you don't have to change any of your stuff. Just pull some tension on that. And then we'll do the other side. That's gonna bring that down. And so now you have this whole surface, but it shields view coming um, into the van. So perhaps there's some weather coming and you want everything to shed off a little bit better, you can. Um, it does close in uh, the space a little bit, but it's really just that easy. And uh, I like it the other way because it gives it, oh, so we'll just show you how quick it is just to put it right back the way that it was. And just like that, we're set back up. The takedown of it is uh, just as simple as you just take the straps down, uh, take the poles, fold the poles back up, slide it back out of the channel, uh, fold it back up, put it in your bag, and you're done. Um, so I really like the way uh, this sets up. You know, it's got some versatility, which traditional awnings don't. Um, the other part of it is that uh, while it takes a little bit longer to set up, uh, the traditional awnings, you know, they only give you a certain amount of coverage and uh, they're, they don't do so good in the wind. Where this is really designed to manage the wind, it's not wind resistant, but it just does a better job. And I'm really happy with it. So I think it's going to serve us well uh, for the places that we go. And like I said, it doesn't take long to do. Um, it just takes a few uh, extra steps. And if you're willing to do those extra steps, then I think you're going to turn out with a great product. Um, and if you're into personalizing stuff, like I said, you can personalize the colors, all kinds of things on it. You can put your name on it, you know, the van name on it if you want to. And uh, so I think it's a really good uh, buy for us. So it runs about $1,000 or so um, for the model that we got. And uh, yeah, so that's how we put up our Dragonfly tarp. Uh, this is Dan and Emily from uh, Rambling Ambition. We appreciate you watching.